Yeah, I got a new tier 2 sub emoticon thanks to Metal Cat. It's an eggplant. And so now we'll know who all the top players are because not only the tier 2. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hey, you know, I've been thinking a lot about Tekken 7. And you know how when you spend a lot of time with someone, you finally get to do your, you know, 200,000 mile review. And I'm wondering, what do you guys think of Tekken 7 now? It's been early 2017 for like two months. Actually, it's its two month anniversary today, right? June 2nd. So what do you guys think of Tekken 7? I think it's pretty good. I think it has a lot of flaws. But everything has a lot of flaws. I think it, it has a lot of potential, right? Oh, he baited him. It has potential. From this point forward, it depends on how they handle things. But I think it, it still has potential to be great. The question, though, is uh, will it matter? I don't think it will. I think that, see, some people are like, it needs a tutorial mode, DLC tutorial mode. I don't think so. I think that that ship has sailed. And now they need to focus on keeping the person who bought the game happy. The game should have had a tutorial, you're right. But it's too late now. It's too late now to put a tutorial in. It's pointless. Uh, not that... Uh, Tekken Bowling offline only isn't pointless. That's pointless too, but I think that now they need to keep the people that bought the game happy and they need to get more people interested in trying it out. I guess that uh, makes you think, yeah, tutorial's a good idea, but I don't think it's a good idea at this point. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I feel like the ship has sailed and now it's better to have content that's longevity related. If the tutorials are more like challenges, that would be nice, right? We've talked about challenges before because even advanced players can enjoy challenges. Like, it would be nice if the DLC Pack 1 came with Tekken Bowling, 50 costumes, and a combo challenge mode in which every character has 10 combos that the player is, you know, f faced to execute. And uh, if you unlock all the combos, you get a free costume or a free color or some shit. That would be a really cool feature if you ask me. Uh, challenge mode in this game, I don't know if you've noticed, but when some random schmohawk tells me to do a combo even with the character that I don't like, half the time I get addicted to it and I do it until I can do it, right? So I think that giving someone some in-game incentive to try things is a good idea because they've created a fun system the combos are fun the characters are fun but you kinda have to like create the challenge yourself I think this game would even now do well with the challenge mode create 10 challenges for every character and maybe it doesn't even need to be combos maybe Brian's final challenge should be taunt jet upper or maybe the final challenge could be like where's my phone <laughs> what if the final challenge for Brian weren't just one combo? Maybe we're looking at it in a linear way, right? So the challenge mode isn't just challenge one, this combo, challenge two, this combo. Forget that. The challenge mode is more like concepts. So challenge one could be punishment. And then in that challenge, you are faced with all the punishers for Brian and then challenge 10 which would be mega advanced could be taunt the whole challenge is taunt and within that challenge you're faced with taunt into 1-4 or whatever 2-3 taunt into this taunt into that and then the final challenge would be taunt into jet upper you know so it would be like an entire mode mm. I think that that would be still valuable even now because players like myself, right? You know, it's not like we're trying to learn Tekken, but if I want to pick up a character, say like Brian, this mode could act as a tutorial uh, and it's also something that, you know, it would help all levels, I think.
But I don't know how... It's more valuable than Tekken Bowling if it's not going to have online. Tekken Bowling would have been neat if it had online, I think. I'd like to play bowling in Tekken Bowling against people online. It could be fun. I mean, it makes no sense to even try it if it's just offline. To me. I mean, what am I going to do? Sit here by myself and play a bowling game? Yeah. It's just not in Japan time yet. So we have Kiru